Play a, do a 45. We'll take that little short okay. talky break where I pitch. We're on? Holy smoke, I like trenches. I'm in the middle of something and Trent then goes, we're, we're, hi guys, how you doing? <laughs> Welcome back to another Music Can't Be Quarantined. We're back here at the new Acoustic Shop Studios uh, set. We're pretty proud to be in here. And uh, this will be our first quarantine show in here yet. We did, uh, I think, Brian Bulger's album release in here, but this will be the first Music Can't Be Quarantined uh, show here, and we're glad to have you here. Um, I'll tell you a little bit about what is going on. I don't know if you know this, but there is this like virus that's taking over the world. There are people sick. Um, we are not enjoying it. I don't think you are. I hope not. Um, but is that definitely changed the world? And uh, one of the first things that we recognized was uh, our friends, the musicians that have been touring people. Uh, we did this for a lot of years. We knew that this was going to be a serious problem. There's no venues. There's no uh, places to play. Um, and I know some things are starting to open up, but I'm also talking to friends that are already seeing cancellations on those shows. So uh, we wanted to co open up a forum for people to be able to play for you guys, the listeners, uh, where they could raise some money because for most of them, this is what they do for a living. Um, and it has been a major hit. Uh, working in a music store, this is all I hear anymore is how much this has affected these people's lives. I am scared because I know a lot of amazing musicians who probably will never return to the uh, music uh, workforce. So you find real jobs. You guys know about real jobs? They're no fun, um, but uh, there uh, it has been a really tough time, and we wanted to come up with a way for them to get out and play for you, as well as get some funds to help uh, get through. And we're back in winter time, and even though we had some outdoor shows that were opening up, now those are gone, and we don't know what the winter's going to look like. So what we want you to do is sit back uh, tonight, enjoy some music. We, uh, we have the Lace Wings in here. Uh, if you don't know, that's Molly and Liz, our two favorite ladies of Springfield music scene. We're really glad to have them uh, in here. And uh, they're going to be playing for you all night long. Uh, not all night long. You probably have a limit to this, right? Some sort of limit. Um, but what we want you to do is... Uh, support your local restaurant get out there order some food uh, take out if you haven't figured out how to stream this yet to your television work on that uh, that way you can sit this is like a concert and uh, there is a link uh, right below on this banner below me as well as in the comments section where you can go to our fundraiser account which is where you can donate all Proceeds from that are going to go to the artists. Uh, we do not take any of that as the Acoustic Shop or the Ozark Music Shop. It is all for the artists, so we want you guys to donate and donate a lot uh, to help them kind of get through this. Like I said, think of this, your Saturday night out. You used to go out, you went to a club, you went to a restaurant, you paid your cover charge. Now do it from home uh, and, you know, know that you're actually supporting a really, really great cause. Um, we would we'd love for you guys to do that. Um, I don't know if there's any super news right now. I know we will be back in uh, about, I don't know, 40 minutes or so, and we'll kind of talk about some more things. We'll do a little bit of stuff. Oh, I know what I do need to talk about. Jeremy right now is in our control room around the corner. That, excuse me, is where he is taking all the comments uh, and trying to keep it all flowing. So if you do have something you want to tell the ladies here, you can do that. Um, we will decide whether or not we want to pass it on. And uh, But uh, make a community out there. I also highly encourage you to start watch parties right now, as well as uh, uh, sharing this all over whatever social media uh, uh, app you're using right now. That would be wonderful. Um, I guess that's about it. Are you guys about ready? I've talked enough. I think they're sick of me. So we're going to get them started here. Ladies and gentlemen, sit back, relax, have a great time, because the lace wings are here. Hey everyone. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to that big box. <laughs> Alright, let me get the sweat off my palms. Okay, you ready for this? My brother wrote this song. Very jealous of it. This is called Funeral. Like an animal 
so I fired around into his head, and he was dead before he hit the ground. As long as I live, I won't forget his face as he lay in the snow. He smiled as he fell, and if he went to hell, you could tell he was ready to go. My world just got a bit larger. I've got more air to breathe. I took his coat and his hiking boots They looked to be warmer than mine And out of his coat fell an old yellow photograph Of a woman and child I left his body there in the pine Make a good meal for the crows I reached down and picked up the picture And ripped it up Left it there in the snow My world just got a bit larger I've got more air to breathe How about playmate? I like that idea. Okay, great. Am I in tune? Thanks. So. All right. <laughs> We're not plugged in tonight, so still playing in some acoustic air. Salador 
are doing okay and I hope that uh, you're enjoying your fall and um, the change of seasons uh, and um, everybody's warm and safe and happy it's been kind of a rough year so everybody deserves a little bit of that um, I'm afraid Liz and I don't bring you that much happiness with our songs um, <laughs> <laughs> as far as subject matter um, but we do like to think of our brand of music as being witchy folk, and uh, I think for this time of year especially, it can be kind of fun to delve into some of the darker sides of storytelling, which is what we do. So Liz, you got a song for us. Yeah, this one's called Dragons. So, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> you ready? I think, well, you'll probably be one or two minutes. <laughs> All right, I'm going to try not to hit this mic so I don't want to move back. 
just a little bit. I'm ready for it. about another sad song okay <laughs> <laughs> this is uh capo three right yep all right Liz, you have a recording of that dragon song out in there right i do you do mm -hmm. yeah, it's on the internet i'm assuming yeah so yeah. if you, you guys didn't know uh liz carney is uh, her main solo project is called isabel crane and um that's isabel with a z mm -hmm. and only one l um and then crane like like the bird at the end um and uh, you should really check out her music. Um, it's 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 simply fantastic, and um, I'm really excited to have been playing music with Liz these last five years because um, I've always loved the music that she's made oh, with Isabel Crane. And so this is a this is. 
sincere pleasure for me. I haven't changed my strings in seven months. So, I gotta tune a lot. This is the second gig that you played in? in yes. Uh -huh. I have played, I have played from, uh, from where I live. Oh. But, uh, this is, you know. Same time you've, like, left your, left your uh -huh. house to come. This is a song that I wrote, this next one that we're going to do, and uh, the Lace Wings also have an album out, and uh, it is also on the internet. We also have hard copies available on, uh, via CD, and um, I guess you can just drop us a comment in the section, uh, in the comment section. We'll get to reading those to, after the show, and if anybody would like a CD mailed to them, then boy howdy, we can do that. Mm -hmm. so. um, but uh, this is one that I wrote for that CD, and... <laughs> um, it's about something that I'm going to be doing over the next few months. It's about praying for spring. Okay. Okay. Been late one summer's eve. He went to town for a brief reprieve. He said, Honey, I'll be home in time to kiss you both goodnight. She went to sleep that night alone. And when she called, he didn't pick up the phone. And when he got home in the morning, his eyes were wild and bright. As the days got shorter, his eyes got wilder. He goes to town every day. He says, don't worry, honey. I'll give you plenty and we'll build a pretty house in May. And now the wind cuts cold to the bone. She's going to spend another night alone. And the only thing that she can think to do is pray. Take you higher than the Ferris wheel. 
was November when the fever came. Cuddle up your sister now before she goes and takes a chill. They waited weeks for the medicine man. If he can help her, then nobody can. He left them with the tonic and he said, have all dark. I mean, we do like the dark. We do like the macabre, but we also do like to dismantle a little bit. Yeah. So let's do that with this. All right. This is a song uh, by one of my favorite uh, swing masters. I don't know what you would call Bob Wills, but uh, Bob Wills uh, has some fantastic music if you've never listened to him. But anyway, this is one of them. It's kind of a deep cut. Not too many people know this song. A lot of uh, a lot of the songs that you'll hear across the uh, acoustic landscape, but this is one hopefully that you haven't heard as much of, but maybe you'll like it as much. It's called "I Still Love You As I Did in Yesterday." Will you count me off? Yep. One, two, three, four. Yesterday, and I will. 
This is probably one of the most requested songs that we do, I would say, as far as like covers. Uh, I think maybe, uh, let's, let's go down to Brazil, shall we? Yeah, let's try it. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow, whenever I mess this song up, Molly can still, uh, can still play when I'm, when I'm screwing these chords up just terribly. <laughs> so, so if you hear that, just know that Molly is doing a really, really good job of covering that up. Well, um, now you say that, um, half <laughs> the time it's because I've just spent about two minutes butchering some Portuguese, so um, I know I've got to, you know, pay you back and make up for it. <laughs> so let's see how much I can butcher the Portuguese tonight. Mais linda que eu já vi passar. Ah, porque estou tão sozinho. Ah, porque tudo tão triste. Sozinha, a se ela soubesse que quando ela passa o mundo sorrindo que enche de graça e fica mais linda que eu já vi passar.
A couple more. Two, two more songs yeah. here, and then we're not going to take a break so much as we're just going to to give John a chance to talk again. So, uh, Liz and I both accidentally learned this this song separately for our solo sets, and. Uh, we both brought it to our, our, the very same rehearsal that the Lace Wings had, meaning to show it to each other on the very same day. It was special. It was very uh, serendipitous, I think is the word. Ah, um, son of a gun. <laughs> greatest passive aggress aggressive anthem. <laughs> yeah, it's no big deal. Don't think twice. It's all good. Yeah. I just I just hate you. Yeah. <laughs> Bob Dylan can uh, write a song. So that is who we were going to do. It's always wanted to do that with a guitar, but I would feel so bad. Then you'd have no it. guitar left. That's the problem with yeah. that for. <laughs> ah, all right. Close enough for Dylan, right? Yeah, big okay. time. <laughs> Don't think twice, it's alright 
Changeable, and then I just kind of like in my brain, they just kind of turn into a yarn ball. Oh. So I just kind of <laughs> pick and choose. Oh, yeah, I gotcha. <laughs> That's okay. Pretty much all has the same sentiment. Yeah. Just a good old get out of town. All right, one more. And then yeah. Take this little 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 internet break. Mm -hmm. Um. So this is a new song, yeah. Yeah. And it's by you. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna do, finish off with an original. I really really like this song. So I hope you guys do too. All right, you ready for this? I am. I found someone new to get over you. Found a man with a genuine smile and no lies to sell. time I touched him Every time I held his hand Wishing it was yours How do I get you out of my goddamn head Every time I think it's over <laughs> this is my. By the way, we just got censored by the FCC for foul language. 
Thank you very much. We've been shut down for the evening. No, uh, so glad you're with us here tonight. Uh, this is our uh, Music Qu Can't Be Quarantined series, and uh, we're going to give a little short break here uh, so that they can get a drink or I'd have to go potty. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what I was uh, Anyway, um, uh, glad you're with us here tonight. I hope uh, you're having a great time. Uh, we're glad to get this series started up again. I know it's been a little while. It has been uh, even crazier than when we last were with you. Uh, a lot of things are going on, and uh, we definitely want you guys uh, support us. What I really would love for you guys to do is uh, get out and, well, not get out, but click that little button in there, start a watch party, get more people engaged in this so they know about it. Uh, there's always changes in the rules of how uh, Facebook sees this, so it is much easier if you guys share it and make sure everybody else uh, sees that because, like I said before, this is all for the artists that we have in here. All the money that is raised tonight is for that. Uh, Jason actually found a uh, fundraiser that fundraiser link that you see down below is a company that uses very keeps very little bit of the uh, uh, fees, so it's a very small fee, so that we get again make more of the money go to the artists. Um, one thing I want to mention real quick, Jason, who is not here and originally set up this entire rig and setting and and figured out how to do these live shows on all these various different uh, uh, accounts. He is not with us tonight, uh, in case you didn't already know. Jason and his wife uh, had a baby uh, just almost exactly two, two weeks ago. Uh, there's been a couple complications. They are now in St. Louis uh, right now. Uh, the baby is overall fine, but there are a few little complications that they're trying to take care of. And uh, so he's uh, up there and we're here. But I am glad that we have such a great crew because Trent has been doing your and moving cameras. We have Cole now, one of the new guys. If you haven't come into the acoustic shop, you can meet Cole. And also we have Hudson uh, been working audio and they uh, they volunteered to stay up late. We uh, unbeknownst to them, they will not be paid for tonight. And uh, that's cool. <laughs> they vo they've been volunteered, uh, not by themselves. But uh, we uh, want to thank them for uh, working with us tonight and uh, appreciate that. Again, this is all due to the fact that there isn't, uh, that the world's changed and it's really hard for musicians right now to do anything. Most of the venues have shut down. There are no places to play or very little amount of places to play. I think you posted the other day, right, Molly, that uh, normally your December would be completely full right now and zero, zero gigs right now. So we don't like that. We would love it to be uh, uh, 25, but it, it is the world we're in right now and I do, Definitely want people to be safe. I understand why we have this situation, but uh, this is, uh, again, really affecting musicians. Not only that, it's affecting all your local businesses. Uh, I, you know, I know we, it's easy for me to talk about us, but we definitely seen a major drop in the amount of walk-in traffic. Uh, there has been a boost in overall sales uh, for mail order, but it still is hurting, and, uh, and I know we're just one of the many, many things that is being affected by this, but I'd rather again worry more about the musicians that we're talking about right now so let's make sure that we do that hit that fundraiser account all of this again goes to them so make sure you donate if you were you know, think about it. if you were going out tonight you'd have probably spent you know 15 20 bucks in your cover charge and then you'd have bought dinner and you'd have bought this and d drinks and entertainment afterwards use that money right now it would be much more beneficial for these artists to do that and we would appreciate that as well so um i am done rambling about that again uh there'll be more of these coming up shortly i've got more artists that are definitely interested and we're going to keep those flowing if you got ideas of acts you want to see on here that we have not uh, got contact with definitely let us know about that too um, and be watching. There's a lot of really cool stuff that's, uh, that is in the works. We're trying to find these COVID workarounds, and uh, it has been a lot of fun to try to figure some of that out. Uh, if you have not subscribed to the YouTube channel uh, or for the uh, uh, Facebook one, do that because there's a lot of great stuff there. The other thing is, if you haven't been watching the Ozark Music Shop TV show, every Sunday night we run acoustic music on there. Uh, at 7 o'clock on KOZL 27. And then if you're watching this from further out than our local CBS affiliate area, uh, you can catch those episodes now on YouTube as well as Facebook. And uh, we partnered up recently with the Bluegrass Life, which is cool. Uh, they have a huge spread, so we've been even going further. So I think I'm about done talking there. Are you getting close there, Trent, to being 
back in. Are you guys happy? Are everything okay? Drinks, coffee, uh, anything of that nature? No, I think they've got the chances. Yeah, I'm not going to get it for you, but I'm just asking if you want it. That's all. I mean, it's what you're supposed to do as a host is be nice. But uh, we have really enjoyed having them. By the way, I want, I've got a couple things I do want to talk about. Both of these ladies have been teaching here at the acoustic shop for a while now. That is another great way to actually support this particular one is they can uh, get, if you're thinking about getting into music or playing, uh, Molly is teaching here. Uh, Liz is teaching from afar right now, but we're going to get her back in here whether she wants to or not. Uh, it'll be great. And she also didn't know Liz was a uh, employee here before COVID, and I guess now she doesn't like us anymore. I don't know what happened. It's a COVID thing. I no, I'm just kidding. Uh, we, we hope to see her back in the in the shop more often very soon. So, anyway, I'm done talking. I hope you guys are ready to come back because uh, we're gonna pass it back to you and get back with the lace wings here. Um, thanks, John. I just wanted to say that um, kind of. Uh, expanding on what he just said, um, teaching in the acoustic shop has been a great joy for me, and um, I'm sure for Liz as well. And uh, I've met so many great people, and it's such a great atmosphere. And uh, so definitely think about you know those lessons. You know, there's with this dark winter coming up, I don't, I can't think of a better thing to do than to learn to play an instrument um, and uh, come out of the winter with something that you didn't have before. So. Call the shop and sign up, and or go online and sign up, um, and uh, maybe maybe one of us will be your teacher, or not. Maybe you want someone else. I don't know. <laughs> uh, so this next song uh, that we're gonna do is uh, another one that's off of one of my solo albums. Um, Liz, I was talking about Liz. She had a solo project, uh, Isabel Crane, earlier, and I have a solo project as well, Molly Healy. And uh, we both have music online that you can uh, check out. And this is off of my second album. One thing we do want to do, I guess, I hope I still audio live. No, yes, no. Uh, if you guys have any requests or anything, please put those in those comments uh, on your uh, donation page, on the fundraiser page, or even in the comments here. We'd love to hear from you, and we'll pass those on. Uh, they already said they would love to hear about uh, requests, but they're not going to do any of them. So <laughs> that's not what they said. But, well, but we will, our mouth, huh? <laughs> I, I will tell you this: the bigger the donation, the more chance they will play it for you. I, I figured that or one out. Or attempt it at least. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm all good with that too. So. One time I played. Out uh, and try looking at the words. You know, that we, we yeah. Could, I played. You, this could be an interesting experiment, honestly. Uh, I played Welcome to the Jungle one time. Really? <laughs> and I, now you're going to I will, I will totally, <laughs> I will, I will, yeah, we'll all donate to hear that. I will tell you this, and I feel bad, I feel really bad for the bride and groom. It was a wedding, and they asked us to play, and I said no, but the, but I got vetoed. The, the rest of the band wanted to play it, and so I sang it, and was going like, Welcome to the jungle. <laughs> you got fun and games. I don't know even the words. You should totally scream that <laughs> yeah. more, though. Well, I wasn't. I was very disgruntled, and I remember. <laughs> I remember the bride just looking at me really dejectedly because <laughs> like, she thought that we were I gonna... paid money for this. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, uh, another thing I do know about Liz is actually she is a really good scream singer. Uh, has done that in in a few bands before. Uh, so I think that should be added to the lace wings. Some screaming vocals. I would really like some of that. I think it would match. <laughs> I think it'd be pretty good. <laughs> All right. Okay. Next scream song, Dear Juliet. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Spider's web in the breeze 
But this next one is a little happier. Mm -hmm. What was this written in the late 30s? You know, I don't know. I think it's I think it's a World War One song. Je sais seulement qu'il est écrit en français. Yes. If anyone knows French, I'm so 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 sorry. Because my French is bad. I do know French, but I'm too busy playing over here in the key of what are we A in? flat. A flat <laughs> to recognize you're butchering the French, so we'll see. Ready? I am. And a one. And a two. Just be fun. Le temps passe court 
possible because I, I also know Yiddish. I know Yiddish and French and I mean really all the languages. I'm really good at all of them. So. I'm good at all <laughs> the languages. <laughs> I, like, I like that that's true. Yeah, it's, it's impressive what I know. We'll just let you keep on thinking that it's okay. <laughs> just say <laughs> Pretty good. Not as good as me. All right, <clears throat> let's do some uh, winter. Okay. So this is coming up. Yeah. That sweet, sweet, sweet winter. Molly and I really like it. It's really funny to see <laughs> Molly and I in the, in, in, outside of our homes in the winter time, because you actually can't see anything besides like this much of our face when we're outside. So we waddle, waddle up next to one another. And I'm like, <laughs> we have so much clothing on our bodies. It's just, it's absurd. And even inside. You had your heat on what, yesterday? Well, of course I did. I mean... I've had my heat on since September. <laughs> <laughs> I, that's actually a true statement, too. I've seen Liz come in here. Uh, it, would be, it would be 50 degrees outside, and she was wearing a, a parka design for minus 20. Yeah. Because anything below 60 is just, is it just frigid. It's hard. Yeah. It's, it's, it's bad. I went to South Dakota a few times back in the day, and people there would make fun of me because I had on this big, big coat and then they were still wearing t-shirts. And I was like, but also, you guys are drinking way more than me, so you're a lot more hot. So get out of town. <laughs> no. I like to think of it that way. Though. I think it actually is. Uh, she would also, by the way, uh, when Liz was working at the shop, if we had the air conditioner on in the middle of the summertime, also had to wear a sweater in the middle of I the did summer. Too. It's yeah. cold. It's so I've been known to bring there. heaters into my teaching room in the summertime. I would get texts from Molly and be like, "Hey, can you turn up the or can you turn can you turn up the AC? It's really 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 cold in here. Can you turn down the AC? It's really I don't know. She was cold, and so I would sneak in and play it to a sweet sweet 74. <laughs> Shall we play a song? Yeah. All right. Winter. We love it. Mm -hmm. It's my favorite. To the black and tears you pour your heart. 
in a shiver and shake I know it's you rattles my bones Now when the cold comes I won't have to feel alone When I kissed you my heart froze and your blood still pops with frost and when the north wind comes I know not every single thing was lost you bring a winter to the snow Best we've ever played that song. <laughs> let's uh, let's do another new one, Liz. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So that brother of yours, he freaking wrote this one too. Yeah, he writes some really good songs. This one's about the devil. No shortage of of good seasonal material tonight. <laughs> <laughs> this one is about Salem. Started, started getting in a rabbit hole about uh, the Salem witch trials, and he found out about warlocks, which is really funny. But yeah, so he went down a rabbit hole, and then he uh, found himself at the other side with this song. I'd say it's worth it then. Yeah, it is. His his band uh, that I played with called Daisy Pusher originally played this song and it's very loud it kind of sounds like a gospel song which is funny and then um i stole it and made it into this okay <laughs> no that's great for us ah hold on hold on Hold on, hold on, hold on. I've been playing another song recently that has basically the same finger pattern.
town A ways on down the road All the people they were pious And he wanted their souls And he told me if I went there And helped them run God's slaves He'd make me a king on earth One of these days And he said I lost my nail file today. I lost a nail today. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, um, if you guys are interested in, uh, if you have, a, if you you can download all this stuff on the internet. We're at Belay Swings um, or Molly Healy for me or Isabel Crane for Liz. And uh, uh, but we'd also be happy to send you um, our one and only lonely CD. But I do believe we're going to get back in the studio at some point. Yeah. Yeah. yeah at some point. your lips I surrender I feel the poison bursting through my veins I feel dizzy like some reaction to a bad bad drug you're no good but I don't want better I'm addicted now to this sin and if we die don't want heaven I know they'll never let you in Like a virus I've got it bad now You only want me when it suits you best You keep me busy And sugar lays duplicity As a fever sets in When you use me you put me down and leave me useless like a hollow shell. 
But if I'm sick, don't want to get better Because I know you cannot be the cure so bad about eternal damnation as I'm familiar with some sinners and it seems like they'd be good company and if we ever wake up from a night of sin as a hangover ever really set in I'll take my chances and be the cup I'll sign my name Maybe we got, what, a couple more? Do we need to do? You tell me what you want to do. I, it's up to you right now. Let's do, let's do uh, two or three more. All right. You want to do that Lost Lover song? Yeah. All right. Did you actually lose a lover? Oh, oh there went our old light bulbs right there. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen at some point tonight. I'm sorry. I'm just glad it didn't shatter. <laughs> glad it didn't shatter. All right. Well, uh. I'm sorry, were you about to say something? No, no, no. No. Okay. This is off of our album. Mm -hmm. Yep. Our, our al the Lace Wings album entitled The Lace Wings. Mm -hmm. We got creative there. <laughs> and uh, was there like a meeting for that one? Like, did you get together and like have a board meeting and like? No, it was, it was what very. What should we title this? Well, it was very like. What should we title this? Should it be self-titled? Yep. That and was it. Cole did the pictures. Small, small oh, world. Okay. Now I remember. <laughs> All right, sorry. Yes. Oh, yeah. So you should really check out the album online because then you can see Cole, who's behind the, the camera. I think you saw his hand at one point tonight. Uh, there it is. <laughs> Twice right? now. He took, Twice. The, he took the pictures. They're fantastic pictures in that album. So. So All right. Cool. I was in a very bad mood that day. There's no reason for it, but boy, was I in a bad mood. <laughs> well, you know, we're at the lace wing, yeah. so we kind of look I've like we're in a bad mood before. <laughs> For no good reason. Yeah, it just happens sometimes. So Cole's taking pictures, and like 50% of them, I'm like <laughs> doing this. Which it's us, so it worked, yeah. I guess, you know. <laughs> All right. Lost Lover. Yeah.
underneath the sycamore tree where the birds all sing their song. Says, all right, man. <laughs> <laughs> I do the same thing, though. That's a funny thing. <laughs> Listen, man, I found that since we, since we started hanging out together, a lot of our habits are very similar. <laughs> We're late everywhere. Uh-huh. That's one thing. Is that because Liz influenced you or because... No, it's oh, a I'm sure thing. if you talk to uh, the people in my life that have known me for a long time, <laughs> that you will get a hard no on that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have been late my whole life. No, I meant the overall influencing of how you guys are more alike these days. Is it oh. because you have influenced her or no, vice versa? No, I think so. I think we just came to each other mm-hmm. with the same personality. Yeah. <laughs> it's been nice. Like, our first winter shows. I, the first show that I noticed that you were as cold as me is actually, <laughs> it's somewhere on Facebook, and I have a scarf, scarf wrapped around, it's like October. Yeah. At a winery. <laughs> yeah. I've got a scarf wrapped around Oh, yeah, that was that face. day over at, at Uvda. Yeah. And, and, yeah, you were dressed like you were enshrouded. Yeah. I mean, it was, yeah. And you... Because it was 50 darn degrees outside. It was oh, I so mean, that, cold. That super cold 50 degrees. It's cold at 50 degrees. It sucks. <laughs> I, have, like I have rain nose. My hands will shut down. They can't play. I just... <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> it's no good. It is no good. But we got a so, good picture of us. I do want to say, though, really quick, uh, I want to thank everybody here. I know you guys can't see them. You see John, but you don't see. There are probably, like, 
four other guys around here um, tonight making this possible. So I just want to thank the Acoustic Shop for doing this for us. Um, oh. It really means a lot to us to be able to play for you guys and to be able to sit here and work with such a professional crew. So um, be sure to, you know, if you're online watching, uh, be sure to go on the Facebook page for Acoustic Shop if you haven't already and give it a, give it a like. Um, and come in the shop. It's safe. Every, they, they, uh, they have the protocols in place to keep everybody safe and nobody will get sick and, and uh, you'll wear your mask and nobody will get sick. Um, and come and see the uh, instruments. They've got, they did some remodeling and um, it looks beautiful in there. This is beautiful. So we've just been really lucky and uh, tune into this concert series often. They have more people coming up to play and it, you know, I can't stress enough what John said that, um, you know, we, we had it, it, summer was not terrible uh, because of outdoor shows, but that is quickly drawing to an end. And um, so we, we need all the love that we can get, all of us. So thank you guys for, for doing this. Mm -hmm. I believe we're going to do a song off of our album yeah. to finish this up. Mm -hmm. And it's appropriate for the season because it is about, uh, I wrote this song. And it is about the devil and his fiddle, but it's not what you think. Um, I, there is a composer called Camille Sanson, and uh, he wrote an orchestral piece after his wife died that was uh, based off the story of the the devil in his sh shroud. He was enshrouded in his black coat with his hood, and he played a, a black fiddle. And um, every Halloween, he gets up out of his grave, and or comes from the bowels of the earth or whatever. And he plays his black fiddle, and all of the people in the graveyard get up to dance. Um, all, they're all skeletons. And so, like, in, in it's called ma Danse Macabre. I'm sure that it's very popular. I'm sure most, a lot of you have heard of it. But uh, the skeletons are dancing around, and, and he, like, has little xylophones in the piece, and they make these little bone sounds. It sounds, <laughs> it's literally the bones going against each other. If you haven't listened to it, it's, it's quite entertaining. But that's what I wrote this on. Um, and then they dance all night, and then at the end, when the, when the rooster crows at 5 a.m. and Halloween is over, everybody very sadly goes back into their graves, and they wait until next Halloween. So that's what this song is about. It's been a pleasure playing for you guys. Thank you guys so much for having us. We are the Lace Sweeps.
Good job, guys! Yay! Yay. All right. Well, uh, thank you guys again for being with us uh, on this wonderful night. Uh, thank you guys for being with us. Thanks for I called you guys. I don't know if you Good, thought that. Guys. That's, anyway, <laughs> nobody cares. <laughs> <laughs> so glad to have them. Uh, again, uh, glad to have you guys with us tonight. I hope you had a good time. Um, this donation page will stay open, uh, I believe, for at least for another week. And uh, we want to thank all that did donate tonight. If you haven't had a chance, please do. Again, all the proceeds <coughs> from tonight will go to the Lace Wings. So, uh, uh, again, <laughs> I cannot stress enough how hard of a winter this is about to be. Um, and that's the reason we want to get this back again. Um, Please support your local musicians, support your local businesses, support your local restaurants. Um, uh, this They need you more now than ever. I don't know if you noticed, but a lot of places have closed. And uh, I don't want to see any more of that happening. So, uh, and we are very thankful, by the way, to all you folks who have supported the Acoustic Shop as well as the Ozark Music Shop. You guys have been wonderful. It has been an extreme blessing for all of us. And uh, we want to be able to continue to do these kind of programs as well as other things like this um, so please uh, continue to support that come visit us and um, I guess that's all I got, got to say we will now go find a place to eat uh, or do something on our own uh, I want to thank again the staff in here Hudson has been doing aud uh, audio for you all night uh, we've had Cole working behind the camera Trent as always who has become Jason's right-hand man uh, we are really glad to have him involved with the TV show as well as these quarantine shows. And then Jeremy, <coughs> who has been uh, manning the comments and doing his thing on the other side of this, please, if you have not had a chance, share this, um, create a watch party, do whatever you can to support local artists. And again, let me know if you got an idea of uh, another one of these quarantine shows. We're gonna try to continue this throughout the winter as much as possible. And uh, again, thank you guys so much for being with us tonight. We will see you next time. Thank you.